Hello, my wonderful student. I welcome you to the class today. The topic before us today is formal letter. We want to look at how to write a good formal letter. Before we proceed, I want you to get settled, get your writing materials, that is your notebook and your pen, and get ready for learning today. All right. Make sure you do away with all forms of distractions around you so that you can get the best of today's lesson. Before we proceed, let's look at the correction to the previous assignment. The first question on the assignment is state two uses of the semicolon. Now I've given I've done that here. In the answer the semicolon is used to mark a break between two main clauses when there is a balance or a contrast between the clauses. A semicolon is also used to separate items in a list, especially if the list items are phrases or clauses. I've done that. The second question, use the semicolon appropriately in two sentences. The engine roared into life. You can see my semicolon here. The propellers began to turn. The plane tags it down the runway, ready for takeoff. And I also do that in the second example, the second sentence. The holiday was a disaster. The flight was four hours late. You can see my semicolon. You can also see it here. Alright? And the third one, state two uses of the colon. A colon can be used to introduce a list. A colon can be used after a statement and before an explanation. Alright? And the last question, use the colon appropriately in two sentences. My answer here, I use three colors. You can see my colon here. Nevertheless, the main problem remains. You can see my colon here. What should be done with the two men? All right. Now to today's business. By the end of this class, you should be able to define what a formal letter is. You should be able to mention the types of formal letter we have. Number three, you should be able to state the format of formal letter. And number four, you should be able to write a formal letter on your own. All right. What are formal letters? Formal letters are official or business letters written in formal styles. Official or business letters written in what formal styles to officials on different subject matters all right examples of formal letter a letter of application is a formal letter a letter to an elder of a newspaper or magazine a letter to a principal or police of public officer a letter to a business house or organization a response to an advertisement in a paper, a letter of complaint to a company or public organization. Let's look at the features of formal letter. The writer's address. Those are the things, the features, the important thing that must be in your formal letter. Without them, your formal letter is incomplete. So we have number one, the writer's address. Number two, the date. Number three, designation and recipient address. Number four, the salutation. And number five, the introduction. Number six, the body of the letter. Number seven, the conclusion. Number eight, the subscription. Number nine, signature. And number ten, closing. All right, we are going to look at these ten features one after the other. The first one, writer's address. The first thing to write is your address. When you're writing a formal letter, the first thing that will, you that come up on your piece of paper is your address. That is the address of the writer. We usually write this address on the top right hand side of the page. Let's assume that this is this is our sheet of paper now. We want to write inside the sheet of paper. On this top right hand corner here, this is where our address will be okay 
The address should be accurate and complete. If the recipient of the letter, that is the person receiving the letter, is in another country, do not forget to write your country as well in the address. Okay? We will do more on that when we get to the sample format of formal letter. The second one, date. Just below the address, you write your date. Remember, let's assume this is our paper. We have our address here. And so just below the address, you have your date right here. Okay? So this allows the reader to have reference as to when the address was written. It can then relate better to the content of the letter. Alright? Number three, designation and recipient's address. Write out the office that your recipient occupy. Yes, when you are done with your own address, right here, yeah? recipient address will come on the left hand side like this. And the first thing that will come up is the office of the person you are writing to. That's how we have examples. Let's assume you are writing to a chairman. So you write it here, the chairman. This is it to come first on your recipient address. Maybe the chairman, the minister. And so on. It will now be followed by the official address. So the official address will now follow underneath. All right. The salutation. Yes. After your your recipient address, the next thing that follow is that follows is the what the salutation. It must be written as dear sir or dear madam, as the case may be. So look at the way it is being written here. Capital D. Capital S, capital D, capital M. Okay. The next one, introduction. The introductory paragraph must be formal and direct to the point. Do not greet. I repeat, do not greet. You don't greet in formal letter. And so it must be formal and direct, straight to the point. Okay. Number six. The body of the letter. The body of the letter must be carefully structured in paragraphs. Carefully structured in paragraphs. When you're writing a letter, a formal letter, every point, each point must be in paragraph. Well developed and in formal language. So make sure you carefully structure your points, the body of a letter, in paragraphs. All right? The conclusion. In the conclusive paragraph, sum up the reason for writing the letter. That is, summarize the letter. Do not send regards. Look at this again. Do not send regards. All right? I would say do not send regards. What do we mean by that? After summarizing your letter, we do not say my regards to your office members, my regards to so and so, my regards to this and that. Do not send regards. Just summarize the letter and end it. Subscription. How do you end your letter now? The subscription. The recommended subscription for formal letter is yours faithfully. Yours faithfully. Look at the way it is being written. Capital Y and small letter F. Are you seeing it? And end it with a comma. Yours faithfully. After yours faithfully, there must be a comma. Okay? We'll see that when we get to the format. The sample format of a formal letter. Okay? So you end it with a comma. Then there must be no apostrophe after your S in yours. Most times some of us make that mistake. Your yours faithfully. The yours there, there must be no apostrophe. Some people write it like this. They write their own yours. And then they write their faithfully. This should not be there. The apostrophe should not be there. 
it will be written like this yours faithfully okay the closing and signature writer's full name should be written first name and then the other names they end it with a full stop then you put in your signature it comes under your name okay writing a formal letter when you're writing a formal letter it is a good idea to arrange your ideas fairly and clearly arrange your ideas fairly clearly now how do you do that you need to bear in mind what i call aps aps when writing a formal letter bear this aps in mind when we say aps what do you mean by that aps stands for audience purpose and style your audience your purpose and your style okay now let's look at it one after the other taking aps into consideration will affect the way you write your letter when you take these three things into consideration it will affect the way you write your letter aps the first one audience who are you writing your letter to in this case you are writing an official letter your relationship with the receiver of the letter has no direct impact on how you write no direct impact your relationship with the receiver because it is an official letter all right take for example you're writing to your principal and your school principal you're writing to is a family member is related to you perhaps your uncle okay now your relationship with him has no direct impact therefore there is nothing like how is family how is everybody uh, your wife and children there is no greeting you're writing an official letter and so the receiver has no direct impact on how you write it has to be strictly official and formal okay now the next one the purpose what is your purpose of writing why are you writing the letter or oh, what is the letter for so this is the purpose make sure that you stick to the purpose of writing the letter the next one is the style what style of writing is therefore appropriate it must definitely be formal because you're writing an official letter so it has to be formal that should be your style all right now you need to understand something note not this casual language and short forms like isn't won't it have they are not allowed in a formal letter instead of writing them in short forms write it in full like is not will not it is i have okay i believe you understand that instead of writing isn't write it as is not instead of writing won't write it as will not instead of writing it write it in full as it is and so on like that okay another thing the title of the formal letter can be structured in two ways that's your heading can be structured in two ways capitalization of the first letters of content words only i will explain this better when we get to the sample of the formal letter formal letter is the capitalization of the, the first letter of the content words content words okay it either you write like that or all the formal letters should be capitalized without the need to underline so when you underline all your heading all the letters in your heading you don't need to underline okay you don't need to underline them all right now let's look at the format now the format of a formal letter we have the address followed by your date the address of the sender followed by your date then the name of the addressee the address of the addressee when we say name of the addressee who can remind us what does it mean yes the office of the receiver yes all right 
the next one salutation and then your subject then your introduction your body the conclusion and then the sender's name all right all right we move to the format now the sample of a formal letter on the screen you can see the sample of a formal letter yes we have our address here you can see the address right here okay and i want you to note some things my the writer's address you can see there's a comma here there's a comma here and there's a full stop here okay and then right here we have a comma also and then a full stop here these punctuations are very very important same thing applies here the receiver's address you can see there's a comma here comma here at the end of each line of the address there is a punctuation so note out this very very important this is the receiver's address you can see the manager that is the office of the receiver where who you are writing to okay now the salutation dear sir then your heading now this heading we have in this sample we have two headings here normally it should be one but this is designed just to explain some things to us it's either you write it in capital letter like this new branch at qpr colony or you write it like this you remember we said the first letter of content words will be written in capital letter that's why we have new branch at qpr colony the art here is not a content word qpr is the name of the company all right and so when you write your address your heading like this it has to be underlined okay that's we underlined properly it has to be underlined properly okay then you have your heading your the body now the body of the letter you can see they are well arranged in paragraphs we are glad to announce the grand opening of a new branch of our company at kibir colony ibadan on december 5 2019 as a respected client we are extremely delighted to inform you that this branch is also fully efficient it offers various solutions to your problems and anything that you would ask for so stop we are dedicated to providing you with the pay service that you deserve we would be very happy to have you as our guest in our launch branch and encourage you to find out more of our products looking forward to your visits to our new branch all right now if you look at something look at the paragraphs they are well structured well arranged can you see the indentation they are all on the same indent all right and so then to the conclusion the subscription now yours faithfully don't forget the y is capital and the f is small letter followed by your signature and then your full name so you study this sample formal letter you use it in writing your own formal letter you have come to the end of the class for further references further studies you want to read more on formal letter we have the new concept english and then there is a website here you can see the link once you click on it you check the link out if you cannot click on it you can copy it out type it on your computer or your device you go to the website and then you learn more there is also a youtube link here you click on it or you copy it out into direct you to the video where you can watch and learn more on formal letters all right so we have come to the end of the class you need to do this assignment study the sample format letter given above and state the features of a formal letter so you study the format of the you study this sample formal letter you study it and what you do is you 
state the features of a formal letter. And so you submit your answers to this email right here. Alright? Thank you for being part of this class. Enjoy the rest of your day.